Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a very basic info box on Mirahees. For this I'm going to use the extension portable info box. So first we have to make sure that extension is enabled. So you go to the sidebar and look for manage this wiki's extensions. Or you can go to the URL special manage wiki slash extensions. Then we're going to look for portable info box. Uh, click the check mark. And then in the bottom, uh, give, an, give a summary reason for this change. So uh, enabling portable info box and then press save. So now uh, we have enabled the extension and now we're going to go to the page where we actually build the info box, which is special info box builder. So this is the page where we build our portable info box. Sometimes it takes a while for the extension to load, so if this page says uh, page not found or something like that, just wait a couple minutes and then come back again. Uh, for the rest it's, it's uh, fairly self-explanatory. Here add info box element in the top right, you can add extra bits, you can add extra fields of data, you can add extra images, fields to put images, you can add extra title elements. You can drag and drop to reorder them. Um, and if you want to delete an element, just click it and then press delete element. So I'm just going to delete some of these. Um, so say I want this basic info box, which is the title, an image and three fields of data. Now I'm going to make sure that everything has um, descriptive names. So we're going to start with the title element this is by default it's called title which is uh, clear enough you can change this to anything but title is what most people use if you want this field to have a default value you can specify it here this says page name so by default the title is going to be the name of the page that it's on so if I create a page called John Doe this title is going to be John Doe uh, then we have the image uh, if you want a placeholder, if you have a placeholder image on your wiki, you can put it here, like placeholder image dot jpeg, uh, and then it will. If you don't specify an image, it will put this placeholder image. But uh, I don't have that, so I'm just gonna leave the default value blank. Then the different labels. This is where you put the data about the character. So say I want to create an info box about the character. I'm gonna say this label is gonna be uh, the full name and then um, we have to specify a name for the parameter it's best to pick something descriptive uh, like name or full name so the next label can be uh, the partner of the character and we're gonna call the source parameter something descriptive like partner and maybe date of birth and we can call the source parameter something like dob um, so if you're happy with the basic layout you can click publish info box and then choose a descriptive name like info box character and then press ok then it can take a while to load and then it publishes your uh, your info box so here on top we see that it's called template info box character so now I'm gonna put it on a page you, you can see that it doesn't look like much yet but that's okay because we haven't actually specified the parameters that we're gonna do that on the page that we put it on so I here have a page that I'm gonna call in John Doe because I'm creating a page about this character then we're gonna call the template open two curly brackets and then the name of the template we gave which is info box character and now we're going to tell the template what info we want to put in it. So we're going to start with a pipe. And then we're just going to uh, take the different parameters we just specified and tell them what that parameter, what info that parameter should be. So we had full name equals, and now we're going to tell it the name. So maybe this character is called John Handkerchief Doe. Uh, and then the next parameter, so you put another pipe, the next parameter was date of birth, 
equals and now we're going to say the date of birth like first of march 1988 and another parameter we have so add a pipe then the name of the parameter was partner and then equals and his partner is jane doe uh, and then we also had the title parameter so uh, pipe title equals now remember that we said that the title had the default value of page name so um, if I don't put any information on the title if I just close the template here using two curly brackets and then I do show preview you see that it's called John Doe because that is the name of this um, page now maybe you want the title of this info box to be different, maybe he goes by the name Johnny Doe. Then you can put a different value there, whatever you want it to be. And then you see it is the value that we specified. Uh, and now you see the last thing to do is to add an image. So we're again going to add a pipe, the name of the parameter is image equals, and then we're going to take an image. So you go to any image you have on your wiki. You see that the title is file colon and then the name. We're going to copy just the name and then paste that after image equals. And now we're going to show preview again and you see it has um, the image that we want. So this is how you build this very very basic info box. Uh, I'll put some links in the description about how you can improve this, how you can add extra functions, make it look pretty, change the colors, um, and all that stuff, change the alignment, so it fits with the rest of your wiki th um, theming. Uh, another note is that the, um, the order of these parameters doesn't matter, so um, I can put the image, I can uh, put it in the front, and if I show preview again, it, you see nothing has changed, so it doesn't matter what order you um, put these parameters in, it will um, it will always com come out right the way you build a template. Thank you for following along with me.